One Southeast Tennessee airport is bracing for what heavy rain might bring. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Not flooding, but sinkholes at the McMinn County Airport. Sinkholes that may soon threaten landings and takeoffs. This is what pilots coming into the McMinn County Airport see as they land and take off. On the adjacent taxiway, massive sinkholes where the earth has opened up. East Tennessee's obviously got, uh, we're not far from the Lost Sea. We've always had sinkholes in, in East Tennessee. Two years ago, on the other side of the runway, a sinkhole opened up right beside the taxiway. It was later filled in. A year ago, another one opened up near the first one and was also filled in. When a third one opened up, McMinn County Mayor John Gentry figured something was wrong and asked TDOT's Division of Aeronautics for help. But before he heard back, this massive sinkhole opened up two months ago in the middle of the taxiway, catching this plane in the process. His landing gear caught on the lip, and so the plane never went, in the, never went into the sinkhole. It just kind of spun it around. Now there are nine sinkholes, all next to each other alongside the taxiway, some of them with caverns, and all of them creating questions. Obviously the previous way we just kind of treat each sinkhole as they came. We, we, can't, uh, we can't do that any longer. This is part of, we think this is part of a larger system. The runway is safe. Geological testing has shown no faults or drop-offs underneath the surface here. But could there be in the future? We're not talking San Andreas fault. No, no, no. We're just talking two bedrock systems that have come together here. Now, the airport has blocked off the northern end of the taxiway where the sinkholes are to prevent planes from using it. Coming up at 6, we'll look at the staggering cost of repair and find out who's going to be on the hook for that repair.